Hey guys, Branch Emma Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. So the past couple days I talked about some of the causes of sciatica as far as the sacral and the pelvic dysfunctions. Um, along with those dysfunctions, we can also get muscle tightness, or a lot of times that muscle tightness can cause some of these problems. So... Hey guys, nice to see you on here. Angel, John, Daniel, good to see you. So, what I want to show you today are three stretches that help address kind of that entire, what I call, posterior chain. Um, basically, from the, um, all the way from the butt area down to the foot, because the tightness along that whole area can cause some of these problems, can cause um, a lot of tension on the muscles that attach to the area as well as on the nerve itself. So first one is going to be the hamstring. I'm going to show you a way that you can do this pretty much anywhere. So if it's you're getting out of your car and you're getting gas, you can use the bumper of your car. If you're at home, you can use a bed, couch, whatever. If you're at work, you can use your desk or chair. So hey Warren, I could see you. So this is one that's really good. It can do almost anywhere. I'm going to show you using my table here. Um, so all you need is something a little bit elevated. You don't need something super, super high. You don't need something super low necessarily. The overall range doesn't matter, but your technique does. So on this table, I'm just going to bring my leg up here. You want to keep the knee straight. You want to keep your back straight. From there, keeping your back straight, you're going to lean forward at that hip until you feel that pull. Now, that muscle runs from just below your knee up here to your butt. So you can pull, feel that pull anywhere along that muscle group. You may even feel a little bit down the leg just because of some referred um, or some fascial connections that are there. So you're gonna just go into that stretch when you hold it. Feel a nice, comfortable stretch. You can hold for a period of time. Hold at least 30 seconds, if not longer. Uh, 30 seconds up to two minutes is usually good for a stretch, depending on how tight you are and what you're trying to gain from it. So obviously with uh, any of your stretches, you wanna do both legs on these. So next one is going to be the calf, which I'm gonna use the wall to show you. If you're outside, you can easily use a tree, a building, a block wall, anything like that can work fine. But using a wall just for support, you're gonna put one leg back, the other one's gonna come forward. That back foot, you want to be cautious that that toe is pointed straight forward, not turned out. Hey, Michael. Hey, Kyle. So with that toe pointed straight forward, you're just going to shift that weight forward slightly. Knee is straight. You're going to keep that leg straight. Hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. After that, what you're going to do is back off just a little bit. You're going to bend your knee a little bit. So that's going to get it, your, um, the deeper cap in there going a little bit lower. So then you're gonna hold that same thing for 30 seconds to a minute, both legs. The last one is going to be um, for the piriformis. So that muscle in the butt that connects from your sacrum to your hip that way I've talked about the past couple days. There's several ways to do this one, so I'll actually show you several ways uh, to do it. Everyone feels it a little bit differently uh, depending on where they're tightest at. So I'll show you a couple options. And we're just gonna relocate again. There you go. All right, so what you can do, you're gonna lay down on your back, and from there, cross one leg over the other, grab one thigh, and pull it up towards you. If, um, if that one works for you, you'll feel the stretch right there in your butt cheek. Another way you can do it is just cross your leg and pull that way, and same thing, if um, you, you'll feel that stretch right in that area. Uh, those are kind of the two best ways to do it, the easiest ways to do it. Um, I should say easiest, not best. See which one works for you. Uh, the first one works better for me, but I have a lot of clients that the other one works better. So just kind of play with it and see. Now, like I mentioned, different types You'll be tight in different areas. Everyone's tight in different areas depending on what's causing their issues, what their um, habits are, that sort of thing. So 
You may not need to do all the different areas of stretching as far as the hamstring, the calf, and the piriformis. You may need to do all of them. It just depends on how your body is. So play around with it, kind of see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and go from there. Uh, let's see, if you're watching this on replay, feel free to post any comments on here. Let me know what questions you have from this or any other things I can address that you're dealing with. And as usual, if you have any issues that you want to talk to me about, feel free to message me directly. I'd be happy to discuss those with you. And let's see, tomorrow I'm going to show you some stuff you can do with a foam roller. So um, stay tuned for that for some more great tips. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye. Thank <laughs> you.